It's Pam and Mark from Out and About in Maine. And today we're gonna show you a camping trip regarding bees. So we had a bee catcher, it was great, worked wonderful. We hooked it up this year and it had a hole in it. So I had this great idea. We were gonna make our own bee catchers this year. Thank you. So you take a regular old water bottle and you pop a hole in it and you cut it all around. And then you come up with this. Boop. Just cut it and then pull it apart. Take the top part and then you stick it down inside and then you pop it together. So you make sure that it sticks so that way it doesn't fall out. Here, hang on one second. Let's see. So you get it down in there. Now, you you can set it, you can just set it on the shelf or something else that you can do is very carefully just take a knife and make a little tiny hole on one side and then go across, make a little tiny hole on the other side. And then, oops. If you have a place to set it, setting it down is fine. You want to be careful that it doesn't... If you have a place... I wasn't in the camera. <laughs> All right. So you poke a hole with your knife. And then just make a little... Little couple knots. Nothing fancy. But um, if you set it down, that's fine. If you have a good level place to put it, but you don't want to take a chance on it falling over and losing the soda from all inside of it. Stick it to the other side. And tie it not. Or two. And this wasn't fancy string. We didn't, or it wasn't really. The reason why it's a hack is because this is an extra <laughs> couple feet off of a tarp line that we didn't need. So you got your water bottle, what you're gonna have, tarp. Now you got it so you can hang it from a tree. And then here's the secret. Here's the secret ingredient. Good old fashioned orange soda. And this is 99 cent Hannaford orange soda. Nothing fancy at all. And when you fill it up, you don't want to go all the way to the cap. Just put like, you know, this first line here is fine. Even You can go a little bit more. The first or second line's fine because the bees are going to smell it. And the bee will try and get in here to get to the soda. And they go down through the hole. And then because they can't get back out, they end up stuck around it. So we have one that was sitting over on our trailer and it's been there since yesterday oh uh, yeah yesterday and i'm not sure if you can see that but the bees have gotten down in yeah, they're here. there's a bunch of bees that are stuck in there so they get down in and get the soda and then they try to climb up the side because they don't realize that they can't get out and they get stuck and then they die and fall down in the bottom so just as a disclaimer, we're not trying to hurt bees. We're not saying to mess with a bee's nest. They're very important for our ecosystem. They're very important pollinators. They are a part of what we need in nature. Don't spray the nest with um, some sort of spray if they're not bothering you. This is just like we're at our campsite. They're coming in and it's to the point where we also have to be careful of ourselves and not getting stung. So having a little bit of orange soda for them to do, to go to. If they get stuck in there, then, you know, there's, there's a few bees. Um, so we're trying to be respectful of the bees, but also protect ourselves and 
you know, make sure that we have a good time camping. Uh, if you're allergic to bees and you're trying to make sure that you don't get stung, this is a good no chemical way of doing it. It doesn't affect the environment. You're not gonna hurt any other animals. You're not going after bees that are out doing their thing. If, if they're at your campsite and they're coming to the sweet sodas. And of course, another thing that's really important when it comes to work, you know, dealing with bees in your campsite, make sure you keep surfaces wiped down. We have alcohol, like a, kind of like a diaper wipe that a Clorox wipe something that you can wipe your surfaces down with, wash up after your chicken and your sugars. If you use something with barbecue sauce, so anytime you have something sweet, <coughs> wipe that down. Sorry. It's okay, you okay? Did you get a B? I did not. If you have something sweet, so prevention is the best thing. Clean up, don't have trash all over, um, you know, dispose of all that stuff properly. But sometimes you're gonna have them, you're out, out, outdoors and this is a good way of, you know, trying to help um, minimize that without going after them or them going after you. So I think that was a quick, easy little camping hack. I think this will be the shortest video we've had. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us on Out and About in Maine, where we like to go and travel and do little adventures. And when we come up with a little hack to try and make your day easier, we share it with you. So we're gonna go and hang this on the tree and put this on our camper and see if we can get some more bees. Bye. Bye.